Welcome back to another Bourbon Bums video. I am Baloney. I'm here with the head bum in charge. And I wanted to start off the video saying welcome back to the Bourbon Bums bar. But do we have a name for the bar? Have, not yeah. yet. We haven't officially christened the name for it yet. We're, it's still a work in progress. It's, we got to workshop it for people. Cause... All right. So Bourbon Bums bar for now. Things might change. We call this the bum cave for a while, but it's a, not a good name for a bar. So. It's, this is much nicer than a cave. Yes. Maybe my old apartment or your old house. Maybe that's the bum cave. This is much nicer than that. Yeah. All right. So first off, I want to thank everyone, Jason, you specifically, but everyone that watched our last video. By far the best video uh, in our Chicago Sports Bums YouTube history. That's it. That thing, that thing went viral for a little bit. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share all that fun stuff. So we want to do more of these. We want to do more of the behind the bar allocated rarer videos, but I'm still going to give you some, you know, stuff we can find typically. But when we're, like I say, when in Rome, I mean, obviously we want to get after the, uh, the higher allocated things. So today we're going to do, um, whiskeys that are worth the hunt and or worth the price. There is some stuff that we tell you guys not worth it. You don't want to go shopping around. You want to overpay for things, especially secondary value. But we have personal bottles of our own that we are in love with that are worth the hunt and worth the price. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with your first bottle, Jason. Okay. So my first bottle is, comes from Michter's. It's Bomb Burgers. Uh, ever since I've had my first Bomb Burgers, I'm like, all right, that's got to be a must. It, it's even got to the point where um, I saw a, another uh, liquor store actually uh, that I, not, not ones I usually frequent, but I saw they dropped it and I told one of my buddies, I'm like, Hey, can you run and go grab this for me? Cause like, I haven't seen it around and I, I really want it. So yeah, this is one where if I'm not, if I'm can't get a hold of it, I'm sending someone else to go get it. So uh, shout out to Dram Daddy for getting me uh, this year's uh, bomb burgers. But this is one that ever since I've had with Michter's, I'm always going to hunt every year. Yeah. And realistically, we could probably have done a full run of Michter's limited products and just made the video about that. Yeah. Because whether it's bomb burgers, shanks, I have a bottle that's going to be my last bottle that I'll show. Um, but you have the Michter's 10 Rye and the Fort Nelson Reserve. All of the Michter's limited runs or, or yearly releases or annual releases, we're both a huge fan of. Yep. Uh, my first isn't so much allocated. It is some places, other places it's not. It's a yearly release, and it's MGP or Ross and Squibb's uh, Remus Repeal Reserve. This is Reserve 7. I've been lucky enough that I've tried four. I have five, six, and seven. These started off right around $89. Now this year, like everything else, it got bumped up in value. But I am a sucker for the higher-aged MGP products. And a lot of those, especially the, the five, that was some heavy hitting older stock. Um, and what I like to tell people is a lot of the older MGP products have a very similar um, palette to Buffalo Trace. So I get a bunch of fruit. I get a bunch of cherry. A lot of the older MGP stuff I'm a big fan of. We had uh, the Gatsby Reserve. Reserve for your wedding. That thing was that did not last. That didn't even last before the ceremony started. <laughs> it was gone before I got back from photos. I was like, "Wait, where'd it go? It's all gone already." That thing lasted yeah. maybe about ninety minutes. <laughs> so the higher Remus stuff, like the Remus Repeal and the Gatsby Reserve, I'm a huge fan of. So this was a hundred bucks this this year, and uh, yeah, it's something that I'll probably buy every year because I've liked them so much. Actually, I think that's this, the newest release is one thirty now. So not see, that's what I'm saying. Like it just keeps bumping up in value or. In price, but I think the value still holds. A lot of these bottles that they keep jacking up the prices, not worth it. I think this is one that still holds its value. Yeah. What do you got next? All right, my next one is one that we featured prominently on the show, we can't and it's Russell's about. Thirteen. Um, this one, the same thing. It's the they came up. This is the they've done five batches, but it's three years going on the release now. Um, every year that when the first time it came out, it was so hype. It was the first time Russell's doing an ultra age product like that. And it was great hype on that. Very limited. I got my hands in a bottle and then I was like, damn, that it was like one of my favorite bourbons in, in 2021. And I was like, okay, next year, got it. This last year's release, 
just just as good. I've done the flight of all of them before, and I can't speak enough of how much I love Russell 13, especially, you know, you've had an affinity I, for it I'm as well. I'm a huge fan as well. I think it's like we're talking about, you know, stuff that is worth the hunt and or worth the value. This is both. It's worth the time you put in. It's worth the money you spend. Um, it's one of my favorite bottles that we were able to get. And then obviously every single release that you've gotten, I've, I've, I like them all. So. Yeah. So next year or this year, they're coming out with the Russell's 15, which even might be even harder to chase. And the thing that, you know, am I going to hunt it? Probably. I'm very curious what the price point's going to be because now the Russell's are up to about 160-ish, 180-ish. You know, you saw the the single Rick House that was at 350. The Generations at 450. I have a feeling the 15 is going to be around that 270, 300 dollar mark if just yeah. the way the trends are going. So it's going to be a question of do I really want to pull the trigger on a extra two years for a hundred bucks? I mean, we'll see. But for the value and the taste, Russell's 13 is for me. Yeah, it's a great call. My next one isn't so much the value it's the secondary value involved in it and the scarcity of it so eh taylor's single barrel i was lucky enough to grab a couple single barrels a while ago how long when how long have you been married uh, a little over a year now all right so the last one i got was probably two years ago and then i ended up bringing it again to your wedding um the eh taylor single barrels while msrp would be what like it's, it's eight, eight like bucks. 80 bucks for 80 bucks barrel. for this I don't see it anywhere. It's hard to find. The secondary prices on it, I've seen it anywhere from 200 to 250. Um, and realistically, since I don't see them so often, um, I'd probably be willing to spend closer to the 200 price I agree with for these. Um, if I see it for 150, not that I have, but if it's 150, 175, anywhere, instant buy. Um, so yeah, it, it stinks because I like everything EH Taylor, everything the, along the Taylor line, the barrel proofs, and even the small batch. Small batch we talk about all the time is something that uh, is a really good like gift. You know, yep. if we're going to a party, we're going to Christmas or something, the tube and everything else. It's it's a good gifting bottle. And if so you, it's well, it makes a great gift too because if people don't have access to it, like uh, like if you don't actually can go out and hunt for it. And if you just expect to walk into your local binnies and see it sitting on a shelf, most of the times you're not going to get fired unless it's right place, right time. So it makes a great gift for a bourbon lover who cannot go out there and, and hunt on a regular basis. Yeah. So the small batch is a good gift. This is the next step up from that. Every single one I've had, I've loved. They've been lights out. Uh, classic Buffalo Trace notes, you know, the cherry and the oak and the, the caramel, all of that fun stuff. Um, I wish I could see them more often, but anytime I see them, I'm probably going to buy them. Yep. All right, last bottle. All right, last bottle. It's a big old allocated unicorn bottle, but it's anything from Parker's. Uh, so this is the Parker's Rye from this year. I have the Parker's uh, Orange Curacao finish. Um, one that I missed out, I missed that on last year's, the double, the yeah. double barrel uh, finish that they did. And I was so mad when I actually got to do a pour of it at Big Star one time for brunch. And that thing was like 138 proof, and it did not drink like a 138 proof. And I was, as soon as I took a sip of that, I was like, fuck. I was like, I was so mad that I missed out on that. And I've been trying to find a willing trading partner for it um, for this year, but no, no avail. This one, I actually was able to trade uh, a couple bottles for on, on some of the, the, you see on the discords or the red, you know, like the trading. So this one was so, I hunted so much that I actually traded a couple bottles to get my hands on that one because I didn't want to miss out on the, uh, I, I, I had so much, so much FOMO from the double barrel. I was like, I don't want to miss this 10 year rye because I'm not a big rye guy, but this one was a great Great rye for a tenure. Yeah, the part I, I had it last time I was here, and I talked to you about how it's so good. Um, most of the Parker's releases don't miss, um, and yeah, like it's something that like what's the MSRP on it? So this one I, was about I, MSRP. I think it was like one seventy one eighty four. Yeah. Worth it. Worth, worth every penny. Worth every penny. All right, my final bottle. Uh, I've talked about before. I did the twelve days of whiskey on it. Another rye. Um, probably between these two, maybe my favorite rise ever. Um, maybe the Michter's 10 to tossed in there, but the Michter's Toasted Barrel Finish Rye, it's a bottle that uh, got me into whiskey. Realistically, the Michter's Toasted Barrel Rye and Toasted Barrel Bourbons are a big reason why I got into whiskey. The toasted marshmallow aspect to this and 
just like the full punch of flavors. Um, we, I mean, we sound like broken records, but we're a big fan of everything Michter's. And this is probably my favorite Michter's release. Uh, shout out John, uh, one of our friends on uh, White Sox Twitter. He was the one that told me about this bottle being at one of our local liquor stores on like a random Friday. And it was a little bit more than MSRP. And I told Jason, I'm like, I'm going to pull the trigger because I hadn't seen it in close to four years. Um, so, yeah, I ended up spending uh, about like 180, 190 on it. Uh, uh, my wife's watching. I hope she's not. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's something I don't regret. I, I had about this much of it since Christmas. And I'm, I'm going to this is like a special occasion bottle. Um, this is something that like we talk about, you know, bourbon is meant to be shared with friends. So if people come over, they want to be like, what's your favorite whiskey or what's something you want? I'm going straight to this. This is probably one of my favorite bottles I have. We'll, we'll share it. You're getting a little nib. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll still share it. <laughs> and you know what? To tell you the truth, a lot of these videos, you know, I'll, I do some videos that are like bourbon for beginners. If you're a beginner, I'm not giving you this spot. You got <laughs> to no. know, you know your shit. You know, you got to be well-versed in whiskey. Or, and I'm, I'm, I said bourbon, but it's right. Uh, you got to be well-versed. I'm not just going to give you this willy-nilly. Yeah, because you're going you're, you're gonna to drink that and you're going to be like, Oh man, like now I want to go out and get that. And you can't just go out and get that. You have to work your way up to the, sh to the shelfers and then maybe you get some Buffalo Trace products, some that's something that's allocated, but not super hard to get. You're not going to, we can't give you the stuff that makes you want to go hunting for a year, uh, once a year, once every two year release. That's going to be so limited in stock at your, even at, you know, your binnies or where you own, they only get three bottles at the most and they're going to go to top spenders there yeah. so it for these it's it's basically kind of just being right place right time and yeah you might have to pay a little upcharge for some of this stuff but that's the nature of the game right now if you want some of the good juice so yeah so those are six bottles we think are worth the value and worth the hunt because time is money and you know we don't have all day and all night to spend hunting for bourbons and but these are worth hunting for and i will say when allocated season comes around in september through november you don't have unlimited funds. You got to start cherry picking what you want. You so you got to, you can't just be grabbing every single thing that comes off the shelf because you know what? Some of the stuff is good. And with the prices going up, you know, we, we talked about on a previous video of Midwinter's Night Dram, how they, they it went from an ultra age to a four year prep for, and it's, it's really not worth the price anymore. So you kind of have to start cherry picking on what bowels you want to hunt and spend your money on. Yeah. And uh, these are six that I, we think are definitely worth it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Before we leave you, we're going to play an ad for our Bourbon Bum Picks. And we'll catch you next time at the, for now, named Bourbon Bums Bar. For now. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Are you tired of getting the same old bourbon sitting on the shelf? Looking for something to impress your bourbon friends with? Then head over to Green Valley Wine and Spirits in Bolingbrook and grab one of our single barrel Bourbon Bum Store Picks. We've got a nine-year Knob Creek bourbon an eight-year Knob Creek Rye Whiskey, and our ever-popular Nulu Toasted Weeded. That's right, Toasted Weeded. So head out to Green Valley Wine and Spirits or message one of the bums, but hurry, because once these bottles go, they're gone forever. Become a bourbon bum today.